Good morning, everyone. Good morning again. I am about to go to the park with my daughters. They're excited. It's a really beautiful day. Too pretty to just stay inside, you know. Need some of that nature therapy. I wanted to get on here real quick before I leave because I was sitting here thinking about the message I did yesterday about alcohol. I don't know if it's because where I'm going, there's probably gonna be a lot of people. A lot of times when people do things that are outdoors and stuff, there's alcohol and things involved because people may feel like they need it. But specifically alcohol, I just wanna talk about. I was sitting here kind of reminiscing, I think, because we're in that energy, like retrograde energy. And I'm sitting here thinking about, I just do not miss that feeling. I remember when I first quit drinking, and see, it's been a little while now, so I kind of forgot this, but I, I was sitting here thinking about what I said yesterday, and I was like, oh my god, I, I do not miss that feeling. I remember thinking, even for the first several, it was about a year, if not close to it, that I, I would feel bored. Like, I was so used to always having alcohol with me, or anytime I felt like I needed to have fun, alcohol had to be involved. Or even with smoking, it was the same way. Like, anytime I got stressed, I would be like, oh, I need a cigarette. Like, I was so reliant, you know, I, I didn't realize how weak I was, because and that doesn't mean any of you are. I'm just coming from an I place. When I'm talking about alcohol for you guys, I'm being dead serious about alcohol. It's extremely dangerous. There's a reason that it's legal. Just like cigarettes. There's a reason it's legal. I had to move the light down. It was so dark. But you could think that um, a lot of these other drugs are worse than all that. I mean, they're not good. You know, I'm not saying they're good at all. But alcohol is one of those silent drugs. You know, it's one of those things that they keep out there, like they think they care, they act like they care about, you know, all these other things hurting you, but then they legalize two of the worst things you could ever do, smoke and drink, you know, smoke or drink or smoke and drink, either or, and they're highly addictive, like, but anyway, I remember when I first stopped drinking, I was so, I didn't know what to do with myself because I always had alcohol with me, or I equated having fun with having a drink or ha you know, anytime I was stressed or anytime I was like, I don't know, I created habits where I needed a cigarette or I needed alcohol and it was just so, oh my God. Like just, I never wanna be like that again. It was really bad. And so when I sit here and think about that, I'm like, I really, here's the thing. I want for you what you want for you. If you want sobriety, get sober. I want that for you. If you don't want to, fine. I don't want that for you either. I want what you want for you. So I don't want to say hope, but if you are suffering with one of or both of those things, let me tell you, for one, you're not alone. And there are other people in the world, myself included, who have gone through it and could still be currently going through it, probably are. And you, I totally understand how hard it is. Trust me, I get it. I get how hard it is, especially alcohol and cigarettes because they're so, it's like when you know something's legal, it's just like it, it somehow gives you an unspoken excuse to be able to do it because, well, it's not bad, wrong. It's really bad. They're silent killers, they're slow killers. And they do things to you that you don't realize they're doing. They're portals to things, especially alcohol. Both of those things are portals, but alcohol especially. It's a heavy subject. It really is. It's a heavy subject. And honestly, I, I've never done this, but I, I don't know. Maybe I should go to like speak at AAs. I don't, I don't know, but I just totally get it. I get it. And it's, a, it's such a painful suffering alcoholism or even smoking. And imagine com like combining the two. It's, I've done it. And I'm not perfect, don't think I'm perfect. Not at all, I still struggle with eating issues. That's my big one, actually. I thought it was alcoholism, and I thought it was smoking. Eating has been the hardest for me. It's been really hard. So don't think I'm perfect. There's no way in hell. I'm still here, right? If there was no lessons for me to learn, I would have been taken out of here a while ago. But I still got things to learn, apparently, and I know that. And um, I just want you guys to know the things that I have already learned and the things that it doesn't mean that I'm out of the woods. It just means that I acknowledge these things and I've had to work very hard every day. I have to be conscious of it so that I stay focused on where I'm headed. So anyway, it's gonna be a really fun day. 
I'm excited. I love being outside, but y'all already know that. So, all right, let's go. You guys see my back?
we're working with Earth here, just up in the sky, you know.